that needs police. The police department's top commander sat before the public safety committee at City Hall taking questions about crime. Where do things stand? What are the strategies? As Deputy Commissioner Andre Bonaparte put it, it's been a rough period. We have um, pretty much have been on a slight bit of an increase since August 24th, um, where our violence seemed to have increased um, during that time period up through the, practically the end of September. In reference to the most recent streak of violence, Bonaparte said they've put strategies in place, like putting officers on extended shifts, for example. So far this year, there have been 243 homicides compared to 277 this time last year. Overall, that's a reduction of 12.3 percent. He said the goal for 2018 is a 20% reduction in homicides over 2017. Committee members brought up very specific issues in their individual districts. It's like the officers sit there, you see the exchange, but nothing happens. Ma'am, we are responsive to violence. Um, and, I, and I think that everyone here in the room knows that. I mean, we that is our top priority. Before the meeting, committee chair Brandon Scott said, among other things, the department needs more boots on the ground. Patrol is not valued in the department. This is, is an administration decision that they're just f failing to do. And so there was also discussion about internal affairs investigations tonight. Seven current officers are being investigated in connection to the gun trace task force case. And there is an investigation into financial misconduct involving the recruitment of officers in Puerto Rico. Commander said tonight that they could not go into detail about any of those investigations. Reporting live at City Hall tonight, Kai Reed, WBAL TV 11 News. Kai